welcome to High Point Music's Gear Reviews. In a little section I'm affectionately dubbing the Tone Zone, where I'm going to take you through getting some of our favourite sounds and some sounds that Ryan has been showing you could use in his lessons. Today's lesson or tip is going to be on getting some guitar sounds from Metallica's Black Album. Classic album, one of my favourites of all time, so let's get into it. <laughs> So my clean tone tip is middle pickup on a Stratocaster, sorry, second position, the middle of these two, a little bit of the out of phase sounds that Kirk Hammett and James Hetfield are using, maybe some split coil pickups they might be getting at, into we're using a Boss Metal Zone first and a digital reverb. I'll turn that digital reverb on, I've got this set to the modulated setting. I believe they're using a Roland JC120 amp in the recordings on this album. That uh, amplifier has a chorus built into it. So this modulated reverb gives us a little bit of an approximation of that sound, which sounds like this. So very wet reverb, a little bit of modulation, and I've got the tone set reasonably high. And then we've got our dirty tones. So our Dirty Tone is a Boss Metal Zone. You can do this with two pedals to create that really tight, crunchy, punchy, distorted signal. We've got a video you can check out on stacking overdrives to achieve that sort of sound. I'm making it easy for myself and using a Boss Metal Zone. Sounds like this. I've got the bass and treble reasonably high. I'm not scooping any mids out. I'm pushing that frequency a little bit to emulate the sound of a Marshall amp getting absolutely hammered. I haven't got the distortion set very high because we want that bass to stay under control for that tight palm muting. So that's my distorted tone. Sometimes I find when you, people are trying to get a, a heavy guitar sound or a metal guitar sound, it's very easy to get too much distortion when a lot of that aggression comes from a person's playing technique and driving into a dirty amp. So don't set your distortion too high. Don't scoop too much of your mids out because you want your guitar to be nice and present in the mix. And while it sounds good maybe in the bedroom with your mids scooped right out, you'll definitely get a much brighter and tighter response from giving it a little bit of a mids push as opposed to scooping that right out. Volume control should always be unity. If you're stacking pedals like we discussed in the other video, you might want to use your pedals to push the front end of your amplifier, but there's a few ways to achieve that. The Boss Metal Zone is one of my favorites. The Warmpler Triple Rec would be another great way of getting that kind of sound. You can check out the video for that on our YouTube channel. And I'll put some links below for these pedals and I'll do a couple in the blog on alternatives for you to, maybe you've got some or maybe you can find one of the other alternatives easily. So there you go. That's my how to get the black sound in a couple of minutes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.